Okay, so good afternoon. Uh, can I start? So, in our yesterday's class, we started mean, median, and mode. So, today we have only the median to discuss. M median uh, we discussed partly, but today we have to discuss a median for uh, group data. Okay? So, we have to discuss the median for group data only. Ungrouped data yesterday we have discussed. Okay, so here uh, the formula goes like this: median. It's like L plus n by two L plus n by two minus C F by F into H. Okay, so the way we did yesterday for more, uh, this L is the lower limit of the modal class this time. So, n is the total of frequency as you already know. Cf here comes cumulative frequency we did one day uh, while drawing OZIF we did it uh, <laughs> cumulative frequency and H already you know the height or the class size right. So, uh, if I make an example to discuss the median all right. So, suppose you have a data here once again where you are asked to find the median. So, this is the given data, this is the given data and uh, you are asked to find the median. So, suppose these are the classes, these are the classes, these are the frequencies which we write as f. Here, additionally we have to make a column. So, in our exam only these two columns will be there. Okay. So, additionally you have to do a column which is called cumulative frequency. So, C f. Uh, I hope you know some of, of these parts because we discussed cumulative frequency before. We discussed less than and more than cumulative frequency. So, it is like that only. Uh, so, uh, suppose I, I take a very easy example so that everybody here understand. So, it is uh, these are the classes suppose 30 to 40 and suppose 40 to 50. Okay. And suppose this is 4, here it is 6, here it is 10, then 8, 2 question is uh, how to find median for group data. So, we will have only direct options to find and uh, this is the table we need to complete. So, this table is ready. Now, we will go for finding the median. So, we will do only one example. It will be all right I believe. Now, cumulative frequency you have to find, but before we find the cumulative frequency, we have to add all these numbers over there in the frequency. So, if you add all these numbers, this is uh, 30, right. So, this is 30 and we used to write symbol like summation of f for frequency and all, but for particularly for median, this one we write as capital N, okay. So, we write as N, same thing, but we write as N. Then, now cumulative frequency, if you remember, there are two sort of uh, cumulative frequency table, one is less than type. We have done less than type was if, if you remember. And also we did more than type OZIF in module 4. So, more than OZIF. So, here the more than we do not do, we find the less than OZIF. Whatever the way we found the CF, exactly in a similar way, we will find the cumulative frequency. And this is very easy to do actually, uh, because you can see now uh, the first number we write as it is. Do you remember that? Uh, and we add diagonally. So, writing the first number as it is. Okay. So, this 4 we write as it is, then how to do that? We, uh, we add it in this way, yes or no? We add it this diagonally. So, 4 then 6 plus 4 10, 10 plus 10 20, this is 28 and 28 plus 2 is 30. It is discussed in length that the last number of CF is the total of the frequencies, right? So, your cumulative uh, frequency is ready. Now, uh, the finding L. So, to find L actually first of all you have to find the modal class. So, to find L we should know what is the sorry median class, you are doing median. So, we should know the median class which is slightly difficult than the modal class. Yesterday modal class when you are doing the, the class having the highest frequency. Okay? So, supposing here the frequency the frequency 10 is highest. So, it was only the modal class. Yesterday we did it. Now, uh, today uh, median class how to find it? For that to find the median class, first of all we will see n by 2 how much, which is also need to put here later. So, n is 30, as so n by 2 will be 
30 by 2, how much? 15. Now what you have to see, be a little bit careful here, in the cumulative frequency column, in the cumulative frequency column, that means here in this, the number which is just greater than 15, just greater than and nearest. So here, which number, see, 20, 28, 30, all are greater than 15, but I say just greater, that means very nearest to 15, which number? 20, 28, 30, they all are greater than 15, but closest, nearest, which number is that? 20, right? So what do you have to do? We, we found the number 20 and get this class. Sorry, just a minute. And get this class. Do you understand from where this 20 we, did, we picked up? N by 2, 15. Nearest to 15 and greater. So 20, 28, 30, all are greater than 15. But the nearest one is 20. But that one you don't have to see in frequency. We see in the cumulative frequency. So 20 is there. For the 20, which class is there? 22? This lower limit is L. So the median class is 20 to 30 and L is the lower limit. Lower limit how much? <coughs> is it okay? Is it clear? So nearest number uh, of uh, n by 2 and greater, so 20. Now n by 2, so L is ready, n by 2 is 15. CF and F, now we, have to, we should know what is CF, we should know what is F. And we should also know what is H. H we know already the upper limit minus lower limit. Yes or no? So the upper limit is 10, 10 minus 0. How much? So H is 10. Getting it? Now look at these two terms which are very important and confusing. Uh, the cumulative frequency. So cumulative frequency from here we have to find a particular number and F frequency. So frequency is easy. This 10 is only frequency. That means in the median class, in the median class, whichever frequency is there, that is only F. So F is 10, F is 10. CF is actually confusing. CF is not 20. CF is the upper one. So CF is the upper one means this will be your CF. So it, it's uh, learn that cumulative frequency for the median formula is the cumulative frequency just preceding the median class. Just preceding means before the median class. So this is the median class. The preceding one is this. So this 10 we need to take CF. Is it clear? Now just we have to put the values. Is it alright? So CF is not this CF, the preceding one, previous one. And F is same. This is L. H you know already the gap and N by 2 already found. Okay. So therefore median equal to, therefore med median equal to MD is in the short form. So just put it in the formula L, L is how much? 20 plus N by 2, N by 2 is 15 minus CF is, sorry 10, then F is also 10 multiplied by H, 10, I took a very easy example so it came very short in calculation, so 10 got cancelled, so it will be like 20 plus 15 minus 10 is 5, so the answer is 20, so this is the process, this is the process of finding uh, median, any doubt? Is, is it okay? So till today, whichever questions I did, I made, I had all the classes continuous. If it is not continuous classes, suppose look at this, uh, suppose 0 to 9, right? Then 10 to 19. If it is like this, it, you also know that I am just revising before I go for the next topic. So if it is 30 to 39, then 40 to 49, etc. So what do you have to do? Make it continuous. How to make it continuous? Here 0.5 what? Here 0.5 minus and here 0.5 add plus with all the numbers. Then it become continuous. Continuous in the sense <coughs> it will become 9.5. It will become also 9.5 because here we, are, we will subtract 0.5 and here we will add 0.5. So it will become a continuous class. If not continuous. Now my these examples are easy. So it is already continuous. Only that is the additional thing you have to do. Then you go for the may finding median of these classes. Done? So it was the mean median mode. I'm going to start arithmetic mean, geometric mean, and harmonic mean. Okay. Done. So you'll go th uh, go through the model that you have. I hope you'll understand. You done. All right. So let's go to the next phase. This is arithmetic mean. Arithmetic mean, harmonic mean, (coughs) 
and geometric mean. Electric mean, geometric mean, and harmonic uh, geometric mean. Okay. So this three we'll discuss. Out of this, geometric mean is little confusing. Okay, other two word is easy. So arithmetic mean, uh, geometric mean, and harmonic mean. Number one for if it is for two numbers, for two numbers, if there are only two numbers. So in that case, AM, AM will be X plus Y by 2. Suppose for two numbers, suppose for two numbers, X and Y, two numbers, X and Y. So suppose there are two numbers, X and Y. So the arithmetic mean is very simple. X arithmetic mean we are actually doing. So X plus Y by 2, the geometric mean will be square root of x into y and the harmonic mean is twice x y divided by x plus y. So this is the direct formula to get the three different types of means. Now I just write a note then I will start it. So in general arithmetic mean is greater than gm is greater than hm. In general arithmetic mean greater than geometric mean greater than hm when the numbers two numbers two numbers are unequal or different two numbers are different okay so they are equal they are also equal when the two numbers are similar same two numbers are similar <coughs> or two numbers are equal equal will be better numbers are equal okay so here we can also have can order use the word distinct two numbers are different or distinct so distinct two numbers are equal or identical. So actually uh, the note which I have given it uh, question comes which of the following is the correct option for arithmetic mean, geometric mean, harmonic mean when the two numbers are distinct. Distinct means they are different from each other, they are not equal. So this is the option, this is the correct option, you have to just tick it. Sometimes uh, the option will be given harmonic mean greater than gm greater than am or ZM greater than AM greater than HM. Just you have to find the option that uh, arithmetic mean greater than geometric mean greater than. Actually, it is the alphabet uh, easy to remember by our alphabets A, Z, H, A, B, C, D, E, F, Z, H. Yes or no? So, just to remember A, Z, H, the alphabetic order only followed here. If the numbers are distinct, numbers are different from each other. And if they are equal, same numbers AM, ZM, HM all are equal. Now, I just give an example. Suppose I have two numbers. Number one, I am taking two different numbers suppose uh, suppose x is equal to 4 y is equal to 6 just to make you understand now how to find uh, arithmetic mean we know already the am is how much x plus y by 2 so it will be like 4 plus 6 by 2 so 5 yes or no then let us find gm gm is square root of 4n 4 into uh, y y is your 6 so it will be square root of 24 you can uh, use the calculator as you know. So it will be almost square root of 25 is 5. So it will be almost 4.8 sort of things. I am not sure. It will be almost 4.8. Okay. Because it is very close to 25. Okay. Then harmonic mean. Harmonic mean if we find. It check it. Am I correct? It is 4.8 or not? Huh? 4.8 approximately. Yes or no? I just randomly written this. Now harmonic mean 2 into x into y. So it will be 2 into x. x is? 4, y is uh, 6, then x plus y, so it will be 4 plus 6. And with this, you can see this 2, 4, 8, then 48, 48 by 10. Is it also, is it 4.8? 4.8. So it is, this is how much? So it is 4.89, right? So 4.9, if I round it up. Now, what I said initially is this line is now satisfied. You see, arithmetic mean 5 greater than gm 4.89 or 4.9 i can say and greater than hm hm is how much 
4.8. Could you understand? So here, 5 greater than 4.89, greater than 4.8. So this is the first condition. And I won't verify. If the numbers are same, two numbers are equal or identical, then you will see, you will get AM, ZM, HM all are equal. Okay? So I just explained this only because of this relation. It comes in exam. Uh, you, it have an option. Just you have to find the correct option. And, and I said, easiest thing is remembering them by the alphabetic order. Done. So, now uh, arithmetic mean we already did. Yesterday we did mean median. So, that is actually the arithmetic mean. So, I am going to start today uh, geometric mean. Uh, sorry, harmonic mean. Geometric mean is a little more difficult. So, uh, let me start with harmonic mean. Is there in page number 284 in a model? Okay. Right? This is done. So, harmonic mean will start. Arithmetic mean already done. Huh? Arithmetic mean means that uh, uh, a mean only. In short, it is mean. So, let us do harmonic mean. Harmonic mean for two dollars we have already discussed. So, I initially uh, I have started with for two numbers. Now, number A for ungrouped data. Once you know the formula, it is just to put the values for ungrouped data. That means discrete data, discrete data where the data are not in groups. So for discrete data, the HM is n divided by, n means the total number, summation of i is equal to 1 to n, 1 by xi. Okay, this is the first one. Then with frequencies, number B, Again for discrete data, but with frequencies. So HM will be here for ungrouped data, HM for data with frequency, for data with frequency, for data with frequency, the HM formula will have since frequencies are there, so the HM formula will have F. So, the symbols can be different, but I, to make it actually I am writing from the book. So, it is summation of f divided by summation of f i by x i, summation of f i by x i, i is equal to 1 to n. Getting it? Weighted harmonic means we will also discuss. Okay. Weighted harmonic means but the geometric means okay so number c for weighted harmonic means weighted for weight weighted harmonic means weighted hm what is that i'll tell you what, what is weighted harmonic mean means it's just the summation of the weights divided by summation of w by x okay no ready uh, i'll explain one by one uh, there again not uh, difficult okay uh, this last one you need to understand weighted harmonic means what is weighted uh, here stands for is it done can i start so let me take some of the examples over. So, example number one, suppose extra question number one, find the, finding these are easy, okay, but there are many topics, so you should not get confused with all the topics. Find the HM, harmonic mean of, find harmonic mean of, suppose I am taking some numbers randomly like 10, 20, 16, getting it, 6, 8, 12, 14 and 6, 15, 14, suppose 15. So, this is the first type where the data is ungrouped. Just have a look at this. You see, this is the first type where data are ungrouped. For ungrouped data, frequency wise not there. So, there is no frequency, direct, direct numbers. You see, frequency not there. So, direct data, no frequency, that means this is the first formula where we just have to, n means how many such numbers are there. Yesterday also we did this. How many such numbers are there? n. 
every number we have to take reciprocal 1 by x psi. So, you know reciprocal suppose uh, 7 by 8 the reciprocal is ulta 1 8 by 7. Now, if the number is 2 the reciprocal is so that reciprocal we need to take for all numbers and then after taking the reciprocal of each and every number what you have to do totaling ok. And here i equal to 1 to n means summation of all the numbers from the first to the last the n refers to the last number ok. But calculation need to be little bit careful. So, h m equal to the formula goes like this n then summation of i is equal to 1 to n i is equal to 1 to n <coughs> 1 by x i ok. So, then now this is equal to I will just do here you will try to do the calculation n n means how many numbers. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 numbers, 8 numbers are there. So, n is 8. Now, the summation of their reciprocals every time 1 by 1 by 1 by x 1, x 1 means first number, 1 by x 2, second number. So, if you have not understood even that, you see 10, the reciprocal is 1 by 10, 20, reciprocal is 1 by 20. So, you write, write till the last number, ok, write till the last number. <coughs> So, it is 1 by 16, then 1 by 6, then 1 by 8, 1 by 12, then 1 by 14 and then 1 by 15, ok. So, we got the reciprocal. The problem is here the calculation part. Done now? So, what to do in the for this cal uh, uh, calculation? So, it is not that you will write every time in decimal because we do not have problem in days, this, this, this. We will have problem here. You know why I said this number? Even here, even here, there will be non terminating, you know, non terminating decimal. So, what happens? This 6 is actually 2 3 are. For having this 3, this decimal will be keep, keep on going, ok. So, this is uh, 14, like it, it is having. 2 7 za. for having 7 it will. So, when 2 and 5 are there, they always terminates. So, these decimals even it, it 3 is there, 3 into 4, 3 is there, 3 into 5. So, these decimals will be non terminating. So, we need to round it off. Now, if you do not do that, if you do not use calculator now, what you have to do? That will be a very long calculation. You have to take, I hope all of you know frac, uh, edition, uh, concept of fraction. You have to take the LCM of all these numbers, which is another headache. Yes or no? Finding LCM, ok, it is a very time consuming. So, since calculator actually in uh, school or college level when you do it, your teacher used to say find the LCM because that at that time calculators are not allowed. So, find the LCM of these numbers, then you solve it like the, the addition of fractions. But since now calculators are allowed, slightly the point might vary. So, what you do is this 8 is there, 1 by 10 means we know only 0 0.1, getting it? 1 by 20 means you can use it will be 0. Point, no 0. Point, I think 5 am I correct 0. Point 0.05 sorry 0. Point 0.05 so it will be 0. Point 0.05 so use calculator and find this 0. 0. Point, 0. Point 0. Point 0.025 right so 1 by 6 will be it, it, it will keep on going say how much 0. Point, this one. Now, this is done. Then 1 by 6 now? 0. Point. Actually, I think it will go like this, this, this. So, we can round it off to 0. Point one, 1. This 1 by 6 will go like this 0. Point 0.16666. Six, 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 six. So, we can round it off 0. Point one, six, seven. yes, because it is more than 5. I hope you know that. Ok, 1 by 8 is I know I think it is 0 0.125, ok, 0 0.125, 1 by 12 for calculators you can use 0 0.083, then next, no, no, no uh, after 0.83 is there any more digit, 3, three. so 3 is less than 5, so you do not have to make it 4, you notice right, then 1 by 14 once again it will go 0. Point 0, 7, after 1, 4, so after 1, 4 comes, so since it is 4, no question of rounding off, so it will be 0 0.7, 1 only. Then last one, how much? 0 0.06, after 7, 
Oh, okay, so you round it off, right? Now, uh, immediately you add these numbers. Cal oh, oh, this one, right? Uh, 0.062. Am I correct? Okay. Now add these numbers. So uh, let it be 8 only. Add the numbers and divide uh, this 8 by those numbers, and that will be your required harmonic mean. Zero, but the this zero point seven two five. Okay, so divide it. Hmm. How much? How much? Eleven point zero two. Any more digit? So six eight seven. No, so like this you are getting it. Yes or no? So this six you can make as seven. So it because this is eight. Approx approx value. Okay, it's. Is it correct? Five into nine. This is nine. Huh? Seven to five. After five, this is five. Hmm? Okay. Then how much it is? Eleven point zero. Eleven point how much? Say zero point two six. So since it is eight. So this six can be written as seven. Now, approx answer, huh? It's not the uh, accurate or the correct one because we had to round off many a times. Now you can have a doubt in your mind. In exam, if the answers are given like we got eleven point, because options are only there, we got two six eight or something. Then we wrote eleven point zero two seven. We got eleven point zero two seven five. So this type of very close value generally not given. Because in in why in calculators only we rounded it off. So here you got 0.268 something. Yes or no? Then you, you have rounded off. You got this answer. So very close values are not given. Maybe maybe you see it. This two will not be there. So 11.068, 11.027. So you got this. So but, uh, having this two seven values will be very close. Will be omitted. So maybe this two will not be there. And 0 0.0. So which is the closest one? Your this 11. Point. Okay, so that's why you don't get, you know, don't overthink that uh, if we don't get exactly the same. So just you know the formula, I calculate it, uh, very close value, like our answer is now 11.027. You will know where you will get 11.0278, okay, very close value that doesn't, generally doesn't come. So uh, 11 point will come, maybe, okay, so higher values will come, suppose 68, 75, so we can have this option for that. Clear? Done? All right. So this now I have explained the first type where the frequencies are not there. Now, coming to the next one, you see, done now? So, coming to the uh, next one, we have now data but with frequencies, okay? So, it is the same thing, you can understand, looking at the formula, summation of f, all the frequency we need to add, then the way we took the 1 by xi, with that 1 by xi, i phi will be multiplying, okay? So, let us uh, go for an example, okay? An example number 2. Extra question, suppose number two, find the find the HM for the following. Find the HM for the following data. For the data given below. Okay. So Suppose it is in table of form. So it is in table of form. Suppose these are the heights of some students in centimeter, suppose, and these are the number of students or suppose participants. So, this is suppose 40, 45, 
50, 55 and 60, right. And here number of participants suppose 2, then 6, then 10, then 4 and 8. Now actually what happens in statistics, what you need to do, it is said by the formula. Formula if we know, we can make the table uh, as per our requirements. Now h are x, so these are your xi. Number of participants, these are frequencies, how many students are there in each, so this is frequency. Now what I was saying, if you know, if you know the formula, actually somebody has not to explain, you can immediately understand what to do after next. So you look at this, xi and fi are there, now seeing the formula, seeing the formula you can understand summation of fi is required. That means we need to add up the frequencies. So this is summation of fi, add it. I think it is easy one, 30, okay. So next what is required, you see, as I told you, formula is enough to understand. Uh, that's why statistics is easy. If you understand the formulas, you can make the table uh, as per your convenience. Now, it is summation of, summation means total, that one we will do later. But what do you need to do? Fi by Xi. That means we need only one column. We need only one column. The name of that column will be Fi by, Fi by Xi. And whatever answers you will get in each, we have to just total that number. So this is your fi xi. Now fi by xi. So fi is 2, xi is 40. So 2 by 40, how much? 20, uh, no, 1 by 20, right? So 1 by 20 will be 0 0.05. Could you understand? 2 by this number. So keep doing. Now the next will be 6 by 45. Find it? How much? 0 0.13. Next? No, no, after 0 0.13, then what digit? 3, 3, 3, so we can do it, all right. Then it will be 10 by, fi by xi, so 10 by 50 will be 1.5, 1.5 means 0 0.2. This is 4 by 55, so like this. Tell this number, tell me. 0 0.7. Sorry, 0 0.07, then 2, so it will be 0 0.07 only. Then 8 by 60, 0 0.13, after rounding off, right? Now, as I told you, formula is enough to understand. We have to total this, sum up these numbers. So it will be 0 point, I believe, 0 0.43. How much? 5, okay, 0 0.5. No, I think 2. I think 0 0.40, 0 0 0 oh this is too sorry, sorry, 0 point, 0 point 0.58, done, everything is ready, now just to go by the formula, therefore the harmonic mean is equal to, this is summation of Fi, you should know the formula, then divided by Fi Xi, actually easy to remember also, because Xi will get in the denominator. So, fi is always the total, right? So, this is 30, 30 by summation of this will be 0 0.58, calculate it, you will get a required answer, huh, 50, 1.75 and actually unit must be written, so centimeter, clear? Is it okay those who are online? Yes, sir. All right. Hmm? 51.7? After 2? Okay, so it will be 7, 7 to 4. So we can make it 7 to only. Yes or no? So 7 to 4, okay, let me write it. You will see in the exam, it might be given up to 7 to, it might be also given to 7 to 4, right? So accordingly, we will put up the numbers. Okay. Uh, last one uh, means of harmonic mean. Oh, one thing I just had to add, add here, please try to understand, I, or I won't do that, I just show it here. So we understand how to find harmonic mean, right, uh, so, just a minute, huh? okay. 
Now, one thing I just add here, because we are learning this, it, it won't come like this, then it will be difficult. So, suppose the heights are given like this, heights, don't have to write it. It's given like suppose, uh, which, what is the first number there? 40, no? 40. Suppose it is given uh, 35 to 55, okay, then 55 to, not, so just a minute, sorry. Suppose it is given 35, because I am trying to make the same number as you are doing. So, suppose it is 35 to 45. 45 to 55, then 55 to 65, 65 to 75, and then 75 to suppose 85. So 65 to 75, and then suppose 75 to 85. Now your requirement is try to understand your requirement is x x i. Now it is given in class. We are today doing the last question you have done. You had 40, 50, something like that. Is yes or no? So what what to do? Just xi you find it, xi you find it. How to find you know this? That yes, this upper limit plus lower limit class mark that means upper limit plus to about 35 plus 45 will be 80. How much? 40. So ready. If not there, if not there we will find it. That means frequency is there. If frequency is there, this is the formula. This is the formula to be, this is the formula to be used. And only the problem is there are no xi. So since there are no xi, and that should not create any problem with our solutions because xi not there, you can find the xi. So like 45 plus 55, that will be 100, am I correct? So 100 by 2 will be 50, this will be 60, this will be 70, and this will be, so you can go by the solution the way you have done just now. All right. So write one more question, extra question suppose. Now weighted one, huh? what is weighted one, I will tell you, find the HM. Find the HM of in a, in, a, in the book there is a similar question. So I just write a similar example 4, 10, suppose 16, and suppose 22. Having weights, having weights, okay, having weights, suppose. 5, 8, 7, and suppose <coughs> 6 respectively. Okay. Actually, we'll do more question of uh, weighted mean, weighted. Now we are doing weighted. So I'm going to do it weighted harmonic mean. Okay. So find the harmonic mean. Sometimes you might get here. Find the weighted harmonic means. So you should not get confused for this word weighted. Okay. Now what you know what is the word word weighted means? It's also written uh, having weights. So these are actually find the harmonic mean of these numbers. There are only four numbers. Having weight means it is easy. Four is there five times. The way I gave it the first example. The first example, 10, 20, 16, 6. Okay. So they are they are there for one one time. Yes or no? But now having weight means having weight means four, how many times will be there? That means like 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, comma. 10 how many times? That is what weight is. Is it okay? So there actually the number of times that, that is there in the data. Okay. So that is weight. So since there are weights, okay. So instead of adding 4, 5 times, instead of adding 10, 8 times, instead of adding 16, 7 times, so we have this shortcut formula. The formula goes like this. You can do yourself this time. See this. What is that? Summation of? Weights, all the weights you will edit. Then summation of weight by <coughs> weight, weight, weight by what? Weight by the number itself. So what I said is H. So weighted harmonic mean. It is summation of weight. Can you okay? Let me write the formula. Then it will be summation of weight by x. Summation of weight means which numbers? Which are the weights? Five, eight, seven, six. They are the weights. So having weights, it's clear only. So five, eight, seven, six. They are the weights. Then it is summation of the weight by x. Tell me, weight by x. That means weight of the number, then the number. So weight five for which number? Four. So it is like five by four. Then summation means, as you know, plus. Then weight by weight by x. What is the weight? Eight. Eight is the weight of. Eight is the weight of ten. Sorry. Okay, ten. Yes. Then. 
7 is the weight of uh, 16. Then this uh, 6 is the weight of remaining things are only calculation. Okay. Now, the problem in teaching this class is we need log and anti log. Do you know logarithm? How many of you here know logarithm? 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 You know this? You, you do not know logarithm? You know some of this? Have you, have you got logarithm somewhere? No, you didn't get it. So, the actually, the problem is we need to use logarithm and uh, that in, in, in geometric means. So, logarithm is new concept for uh, uh, the students. Oh, science students they get it, even commerce students also get it in applied mathematics, yes or no? So we need to do logarithm, today I will just start the topic, okay. I will share the log and anti-log table in your groups, it will take little bit time because we need to understand what is logarithm and after that, so we need another class only for geometric means, okay. So let's start, is it done now? Okay, so you don't worry. Those who do not know, I'll try to explain uh, the log, log and anti-log. Last time, after uh, students said this values were already given. If it is so, then well and good. Okay, <coughs> so let's start geometric mean. Okay. Number one, a ZM of ZM of N items supposing X one, X two, X three, dot 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 X N is equal to N at root of N at root of X one, X two x3 dot 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 okay this is gm of n items number two for individual series for individual series for individual series the gm is we write it in short gmz is Problem in this, if uh, anti log table we should know, anti log and log table. So, anti log of, it is a logarithm concept, anti log of summation, this is n, summation of i is equal to 1 to n, then logarithm, log of xi. See, it seems to be difficult, but uh, as, as I told you, once you remember the formula, table you can generate yourself. Okay, so ZM will I next time I'll write in short Z. So it's as I told you, it seems to be difficult, but once you know the formula, you will understand. Oh, X is there. For example, last time we did one by X. Yes or no? Now you see X I there means log we need to take log of X I log of this. Okay, then and problem in uh, using calculators, scientific calculators are not allowed in our exams. So only ordinary calculators. So our even mobile calculators, the logarithm is there. LG, you can see in the mobile calculators, uh, that is a function like LG. So that is only, that is only a log. Uh, uh, can you see this? Okay. So LG function is there. So uh, again, the problem is anti logs are not there in the in the calculators. So if options are given, that is good. But actually, the options are not given. So that is why we should know the log and anti log table. Okay. So number this is for individual series. Number three. This is for discrete series, discrete series but having frequencies, discrete series, the Z will be anti log of, so I am trying to write the same formulas, 
summation of i is equal to 1 to n f log x i divided by summation of i is equal to 1 to n f i. Out of all the concepts, this is slightly confusing because of this log table. Okay. Done? Over. So, write the formulas. We will not have time to even start. I will just write this. Is it over? Over? Can I go to the next place? So, individual and discrete series, the fourth one is group series or continuous data. Okay? So, number three, for continuous series, for continuous series of data for continuous series <coughs> disease anti log of almost the same formula here again anti log anti log of summation i is equal to 1 to n f i log x i in the book they have given m so i am preferring x i because we are comfortable with x i we know x i is the class mark okay summation of i is equal to 1 to n then f i okay so actually it is the same formula almost all right and then for weighted geometric means this weighted means geometric mean you have already done so for weighted geometric mean weighted series okay for weighted ge geometric means in this case it is equal to it is equal to uh, anti log again summation of w is the weight of log x divided by summation of w okay now these are four which we need to do for log and anti log with this our module uh, 5.1 will be over and then we'll go to standard deviation and all okay right now the pro see why why log and anti log we need to use first of all why log and anti log see when i was do doing the geometric mean today the very first slide okay just a minute done now so when i initiated the geometric mean today suppose you have two numbers i took i think 4 and 6 i took 4 and 6 then i explain geometric mean is just square root of 4 and 6 so 4 6 are 24 and we got it uh, 4.89 today do you remember the very first slide 4.19 now why uh, uh, log and anti log now two numbers okay we can easily do that but if there are three numbers, 7, 4, 6, suppose 8, then the geometric mean will be same almost. So it will be 7 into 4 into 6 into 8. But how many such numbers are there? 4. It will come fourth root. You know fourth root? This is square root. When, when you take the root like this, cube root. When you take it like that, fourth root. That means, that means after multiplying these numbers, after multiplying, suppose these numbers you multiply, then you got as an example only. Suppose you got 1048, then you have to take 2 to the power 1 by 4, which is little bit difficult to find, even if greater numbers are there. So, suppose I have here, suppose I have here uh, uh, more numbers like 6, 8, 3, 5. So, now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It will come 8 root, 8 root of their product so seven four six eight all the numbers you have to do so it will be like five into three into eight into six 
Now the problem is after multiplying, suppose you got 10,000, 10,086, for example. Then we have to take 18 root, and we cannot give our answers in this format. We have to find the number, and to find a number, you see, you you know this. Uh, uh, suppose there is a number like 64 to the power half. You are comfortable with that because you know 64 means h square. Do you do you remember? And then 1 by 2. So this 2 to get cancelled, it's okay. 8. We are comfortable with this. Even you are comfortable with 64 to the power uh, 1 by 4 also, you might be comfortable. Why? 64 is mm, 2 to the power. 2 to the power, uh, how much? 8, eight uh, just a minute. Is it two, uh, 2 to the power 32? So 2 to the power 6. No, 64, let me change the number. So suppose 32 to the power, 32 to the power 1 by 5. Okay. So you know 32 means 2 is there for 5 times. Yes or no? Then this 1 by 5 will come here. So this, this is equal to 5. The, these, are, these are okay. We can directly find without using log and anti log. But when you have numbers like this, 7, 8, 9, 6 to the power 1 by 15, very difficult to find. Yes or no? That is why we need to take log. Now, when you take log, I think you must have some idea. So this number comes in the front. It, yes or no? So it comes, it comes in the front means 1 by 15 will come here. That is the property of log. Your exponents comes to the front. Right? And then log of 7896. We have a table for that. So now see how easy it became, the calculation. So this will come here. Then there is a table. And that table is given in the exam. Okay? Either the table is given or the values. So if values are not given, so the tab uh, table is given. So now 1 by 15 will come here. So, so we will get suppose 1 by 15 into log of this number. Suppose, suppose huh, we got it 3.869. So we just calculation, you can now do it using our ordinary calculators. So that is why to make it easier, these concepts of log and anti-logs we have, right? So we'll not be able to cover up today. We will start in the next class. I'll share the log and anti-log table in the groups so that you can come prepared for tomorrow's class. All right? Okay, then. Thank you. Thank you.